Libra Sun Moon Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy and I help the helpers, the light bringers, and the soulpreneurs of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the bell so that you can get notifications for all the videos that I share here on the channel. So we are going to be diving in to your January 2020. What do you need to know? How can you best navigate it? And what messages do the angels have for you? I did post a entire 2020 tarot forecast up a couple of weeks ago, so make sure you catch those as well. They're right here on my channel also. But we are going to dive into your January 2020, and the first cards that we're going to take a look at is the overarching theme that you can expect throughout the month, okay? So here we have the Queen of Water reversed, okay? So I do feel like you're doing some work in regard to relationships this month. I think that you're going to be exploring your past patterns and connection with relationships. And this can be romantic relationships. This can be relationships just with people in your life. And I think that you're going to be exploring that and finding some clarity on some things here with that. This is about you understanding maybe the ways that you've protected yourself, the ways that you've been guarded, the ways that, you know, the areas where you need to make some changes in regard to relationships and where you can make some improvements. And you also want to make sure, here we have the full card showing up in reverse, okay, in regard to this overarching theme. And this is like, where are you using humor to avoid things? And specifically, this feels in connection also with relationships, although it can be in any area of your life. So where are you using humor to be you know, not honest with yourself or to distract yourself? Where are you using humor in a way that is not serving you and not helpful to you? And what are you trying to avoid? What do you need to take a look at? So I think that just having an understanding of that and exploring that is going to help you to find some really important clarity for you in regard to relationships. I feel like there's already been a beginning process with this and some processing prior to this month and this is really going to bring everything together. So anything that you feel you need to do in connection with exploring relationships, processing things, whether you write it down, whether you you know, talk about it with somebody, whether you just let yourself meditate on some things, however you process things, allow this process to happen because some important uh, clarity is going to come through. And what also is important is this concept of feeling safe, okay? so. I do feel like you're gonna be working on what are some of the ways that I can open my heart more and what are some of the ways that I can open my heart differently, but how do I also help myself feel emotionally safe, maybe even physically safe sometimes? How do I help myself feel psychologically safe in order to be able to do that? And I think that you're, that's a big part of this exploration is how do I help myself to feel safe and to be open because we wanna be open within relationships, but at the same time feel safe and feel balanced as well without shutting down my heart chakra without protecting myself too much. So good luck with that exploration. I think that a lot of important insights are going to come through. So the next card that we have here is in the challenges area. Okay, so we have the four of fire. You're going to be working on finding balance this month, finding a solid foundation for everything that you're going to be building upon it later on. Okay, so this might be a challenge this month for you to find structure, to focus, to get things together, to um, begin to create a solid foundation. But what you're working toward is success. You know, this is, when we have the four of fire, this is like happiness, abundance, feeling happy at home. Um, this even can be the successful completion of a project, but you're going to have to allow yourself to focus, to add in a little bit more structure, to, um, really hold yourself accountable to make sure that you are doing the things that you feel intuitively called to do so that you can build upon that for a happy and successful future. So as long as you can stay focused and as long as you can work on that, and I think that that is really going to be the challenge is staying focused, um, you know, holding yourself accountable, all of those things. But if you can do that, you're going to find a really nice foundation for that. The next card that we have here is in the lesson section or in the gift section and um, this is the Ten of Air, okay? So Ten of Air Reverse is about 
moving forward, something has ended, something, you know, I feel like some things that you've been trying to work through for quite some time finally just are healed through this process that you're going to be going through this month, through this. Uh, January is a very mental month for us, energetically, universally, energetically. And um, so all of us are kind of going to be more in our head this month. And I think that this process is really going to create for you a a breaking free, a moving forward, um, the end of something that maybe has felt for you like it never would end, like you never would move forward from this. And I do see some great healing around this for you and this moving forward. And I feel like this is even can even be the release of like an addiction or addictive behavior or unhelpful behaviors as well. And I just feel like your thoughts are gonna be in a much more positive, much more optimistic, much more hopeful place, uh, much more clear place on the other side of all of this work that you're gonna be doing this month. And the next card that we have here is, what are the lessons that you're gonna be learning? What lessons are the angels putting on your path so that you can learn some things this month? And here we have the King of Earth, okay? So this is really about learning how to connect with your power and learning how to connect with your ability to manifest things. And specifically, the King of Earth is about manifesting you know, the physical things that we want into our experience. It can be about manifesting money. It can be about manifesting opportunities or um, people or anything that we're trying to actually bring into our experience that we're trying to magnetize to ourselves. And I think that you're going to learn about how do I change my magnet, you know? Um, I think that you're going to have an understanding of, oh, wow, if I can just shift my energy a little bit, I'm starting to change the experience that I'm having here in this world. And the King of Earth is is very much a Midas touch kind of energy. So anything that you're putting your energy into this month is bound to be really, really successful. Again, if you can stay focused and if you can dig deep and put your energy into it. And then we have here in the advice section, the Six of Fire. The Six of Fire is about a return from battle victorious, okay? So whatever you've been battling, whatever you've been going through, and I do feel like some of this battle is this month, you know, a battle with yourself, a mental battle. and um, But it can be really anything that you just feel like has been such a battle in your life, such a challenge in your life. And this is you coming out of it victorious. So again, this is like the end of something that's been really, really challenging, and you're celebrating it. You're you're feeling better, you're feeling more positive, you're feeling excited about the fact that you have found the strength to get to the other side of this. So if you're not seeing that yet, I, I feel like you're really moving in that direction in the very near future. So that's going to be really helpful for you. And finally, the last section that we have here in this reading is the what else? What else do you need to know here? Okay, so here we have the Night of Fire reversed. And the Night of Fire is kind of a, um, it can be when it's upright, it can be a crisis situation showing up in your life. It can be a lot of drama. It can be a lot of stress in regard to work. But this is showing up reversed. And this is saying to me that you're leaving some of this stuff behind. You're leaving just old drama behind, you're stepping away from that, you're stepping away from these little fires that show up in your life that cause drama, that cause complications, that cause stress. You're recognizing the things that just aren't serving you, the things that are causing more drama than necessary in your life, and you're choosing to walk away from it. You're choosing to move forward. And this might even be in terms of the way that you're viewing the world, okay? So you might recognize, oh, this habit that I have isn't helpful to me and it's creating more drama than necessary or more problem than necessary or this thought that I'm having, that this thought pattern that I have is creating more problems than it's helping. So it's time for me to let that go and it's time for me to move forward. So I do feel as though you're gonna do that and we have here with that the breaking free card, okay? So again, it's this energy of just breaking free from some things that have tied you down, from some things that have held you back. And I just feel like as we're stepping into February, there's going to be a lightness to you that you haven't experienced in quite some time. And I do feel like this is the beginning of a lot of different things in your life that you're going to be stepping into. So I'm excited for February for you because I think that this is a clearing. This is a release. This is, it feels like a lot more of an internal clearing than an external clearing. Although this oftentimes that's reflected externally, right? We change inside. So then our outside world begins to change as well. And then as we step into February for you, I feel like 
the outside world starts to change more as well and you're really magnetizing in all of these things that the king of earth has promised for you so this is exciting stuff this is an exciting time for you so keep the faith take care of yourself while you're going through this journey and um, speak kindly to yourself start to notice the way that you're speaking to yourself start to notice the messages that you are giving to yourself and start to make some changes to that to the messages that that you don't like that don't make you feel good you know so often i say would you let somebody talk to your best friend the way that you talk to yourself and if the answer is no then you need to make some changes in the way that you're talking to yourself i'm christy forsyth with clarity by christy if you want to learn more about me or about clarity you can check me out at discoveryawakening.com if you guys like this video make sure you hit that like button and i always love to hear from you in comments below thanks so much for watching and i will see you soon with another video take care guys